We're taking another break from the whiskey chiller, but this week we're going to be helping out a friend make a charging station for his new Apple Watch. Maybe you know him. Ryan Parker. Ryan just got his new Apple Watch. Tell me one thing you love, one thing you hate. One thing I love, I love that you can make phone calls and text on it, which is pretty awesome. I hate that it doesn't work on all Wi-Fi bands. But you love it. I do love it. And you want to build a charging station. Charging station, yep. Also with my, I have an iPhone 6 Plus. And we're going to be using walnut, black walnut. Yep. And high molecular density white, that acrylic white stuff. Mm -hmm. Let's get to it. Sweet, let's do it. Here's the plan. What we have here is what we, uh, the black walnut with that weird plastic that Mike was talking about. And then another walnut, so we're gonna do a layered like that. This is the Apple Watch charging cord. Uh, this is actually a magnet that connects to the Apple Watch. This is my uh, stand that I have now, but it's the magnet's not strong enough to actually hold the Apple Watch on there. I mean, it does, but it moves around. So like whenever it's connected, it always like slides around and I don't really like that. We've got a ripping blade on the bandsaw. We've got our makeshift fence set up. Run it through. Looking pretty good. Now we got to rip down this high molecular density, whatever it's called. Uh, and I think you can just do this on the table saw. We're gonna try it out. No problem. We're ready to laminate our pieces together. We've got our slot for the phone. We've got our hole drilled for the charger. We've got the bottom cavity all cut out. Slot for the cord. Let's glue it up. Things are going good. We've got the pieces laminated together and we've got them all trimmed up on the table saw. Cut a nice little 15 degree bevel on the front. Give it a nice look. Now what we're gonna do is take the cable and put it through the hole. Attach the phone and then epoxy this in right where it should go so that when the phone goes in, it's in the perfect spot. So it wasn't caught on film, but in the last little piece that I was making for this stand, uh, I had an accident with the table saw. The piece flew up, it kicked back and actually stabbed me in the nose. Here is the piece in question, and you can see the kickback mark right there. I'm still gonna use this piece. We'll do a separate video explaining how that happened, but for now, let's just keep moving forward with the project. We are wet sanding this plastic piece up to, up to a uh, 800 grit to smooth out the plastic. Everything's coming together nicely. The phone half is working great. That pops in, it has a real nice solid feel. And this is gonna sit on top that and then the watch is going to just slide right over top like that so what we need to do now is drill a hole right here big enough for the USB to go through first test here it goes charging Uh, we're gonna use some spray lacquer. I'm not sure how it's gonna react to the plastic, but we're gonna try it anyway. And then we're also just gonna spray over this white wire. I don't think it'll hurt it. Oh wow. That's like... Okay. There it is. And I would say it is better than expected. Wouldn't you say that, Ryan? Yes. It turned out legit phone calls he can take that. The only thing we're gonna do is next week we're gonna make it so we're gonna splice these cables together so you only need one to plug in and we're gonna put some LEDs underneath to light up this white part and it looks awesome. Check this out. We did a little test. The only thing that's not perfect is we use a sharpie to trace these two pucks and glue them together and it dyed this little line and it's only on the back so you can't really see it but it works and functions just like you would hope it to. It just slides right on and then powers right up. Very happy, very sweaty. How do you like it? I love it. It's really, really sweet. I can't wait to use it for good for everyday use. And it comes with a story, right? <laughs> and it comes with a story. It comes with a story. This is the actual piece that hit Mike. But this right here is pretty much what happened for, with his face. 
So, actually, there was a little red stuff in there, but I think, I think we sanded it out. Oh, that was from the saw blade. But I like to say that it's from the blood. 